the virtuoso harmonica player Robert Bonfilio joins John Williams and the Boston Pops Orchestra for an evening at Pops. I'm always amazed what can be done by a great harmonica soloist. When you consider this tiny little instrument that can cover four octaves and can execute such complex chromatic music, it all seems to defy some natural law. Our next guest is one of the current best practitioners of the art. Please welcome harmonica soloist Robert Bonfilio. All right, although the harmonica is the most widely played instrument in America, usually considered a fun toy with which to play folk tunes, but there is a dashing young man, and we have him, who has taken this instrument quite seriously. In fact, he's a harmonica virtuoso. Uh, and is the only one in the United States to be playing major classical works with orchestras around the country, including Carnegie Hall. Here is his new uh, CD, uh, Villa Lobos, and here is Robert Bonfilio. Welcome back to our fifth anniversary edition of CBS This Morning. I'm Harry Smith. And I'm Paula Zahn. Wait till you hear a guy named Robert Bonfilio. He can make a harmonica sing like nothing you've ever heard before. Now, when you were in Carnegie Hall, he was at that concert, right, with the New York Pops? And he was sensational. Got to hear him warm up this morning. Stick around. Really good. After he plays, it makes you say, man, I didn't know they could make a harmonica sound like that. He's doing a song from the musical A Little Night Music called Send in the Clown. Say hello to Robert Bonfilio. <laughs> Charles Keralt, and this is Sunday Morning. You don't think of it as a classical instrument. Most people don't. You don't, but you know, there have been several extraordinary classical players. There was Larry Adler, mm -hmm, and also John Sebastian. And interesting, though, though uh, Bonfilio did not grow up listening to them. He grew up listening to Sonny Boy Williams and people like Paul Butterfield. As a doctor's son in growing up in Iowa City, those were his role models. He has many concerts, he's doing a great deal of uh, getting composers to, to write for him. And he's also music director of the Grand Canyon Chamber Music Festival, which is a terrific place for him because he's very devoted to nature. He's a great jogger, a great hiker, and it's really reflected in his music making. I think when you hear him play the harmonica, it's got tremendous wizardry to it and it's very poignant but it's it's like listening to a wood spike start when did you decide yep that's it I want to be a harmonica player that's, that's a hard you know, question because I think it was in my backyard in Iowa and I'm sitting out there in the backyard and I said I love this instrument I want to become a harmonica player and I found out that there was a teacher in New York named Chamber Wong a Chinese virtuoso and I went to New York City and I studied at Manhattan School of Music I studied composition because they didn't have a harmonica major and I studied with people like Aaron Copeland, 
you know, pretty famous composers. And then went right out and did studio music after that. And so I was already being a harmonica player, even, it, even though I was a composer at school. music major, a composer, and a harmonica player. And that talent has taken you from Iowa to some pretty famous performing venues. A few. Des Moines Symphony in Iowa, for one. All right. <laughs> and my hometown in Iowa City, for another. That had to now, be exciting. The real exciting one was uh, I played Carnegie Hall. And the neat thing was my parents came to see me at my debut at Carnegie Hall and I really you know very few kids get to go from Iowa to Carnegie Hall and have their parents actually see them do it so that was a thrill but I've played in Hong Kong I've played uh, in Boston with the Boston Pops the Hollywood Bowl about three times now for whatever it is 18,000 people in the night that's nice What are some of the best audiences for your kind of music? Well, the harmonica transcends almost all countries and, and it, all age levels of audience. It doesn't make any difference wherever it is. I mean, I was just in Spain playing and they go nuts in Spain just as much as they do in, uh, you know, Oshkosh. So it doesn't really uh, make any difference where I am. Audiences in Brazil, uh, uh, Central America, 
they're almost all the same because every place you go in the world, somebody plays the harmonica. I mean, millions of people play the harmonica.